After World War II, the U.S. military was in need of an aircraft to gather strategic reconnaissance to learn more about the growing threats during the start of the Cold War. It was eventually determined that a plane reaching 70,000 feet would be out of range by most anti-aircraft artillery, missiles, and fighters. In 1954, a joint deal was made between the CIA and the U.S. Air Force to have Lockheed Skunk Works start work on what would become the U-2 Dragon Lady. Assembled and tested at Groom Lake, Nevada, the development of the U-2 presented new obstacles to overcome. Pilots were required to wear full pressure suits to protect them from the change in air pressure as they reached heights well into the stratosphere. Suits that have evolved today into something similar to what NASA astronauts wear when journeying into space. Another challenge faced by U-2 pilots during the plane's advancement was landing. Because of the aircraft's extensive wingspan, Taking off was easy, but touching down on the runway proved to be difficult. In order to successfully land, the Dragon Lady needed assistance from fellow pilots driving chase cars. The chase cars would speed down the runway going over 100 miles per hour and inform the U-2 pilot to stall the aircraft inches from the ground. Two right there, two, one and a half, one. Oh, oh. 